Good morning, brothers and sisters. We offer this Mass for our deliverance from the pandemic of COVID-19, for our frontliners who unselfishly offer their services in these difficult times, for those afflicted with the virus and other diseases and those who have died, for proper guidance and enlightenment of our civil and church leaders, for those who send their private intentions, for the benefactors and friends of the Basilica, and for our personal intentions. Let us now dispose ourselves for the celebration of the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass by praying the act of oblation before the Holy Mass. Eternal Father, I offer you the sacrifice wherein your dear Son Jesus offered himself upon the cross and which he now renews upon his altar to adore you and to render to you that honor which is your due. Acknowledging your supreme dominion over all things and their absolute dependence on you. For you are our first beginning and our last end. To give you thanks for countless benefits received, to appease your justice provoked to anger by so many sins, and to offer you worthy satisfaction for the same. And finally, to implore your grace and mercy for myself, for all those who are in tribulation and distress, for all poor sinners, for the whole world, and for the blessed souls in purgatory. Amen.
Let us pray. Clothe us, Lord God, with the virtues of the heart of your Son, and set us aflame with his love, that conform to his image, we may merit a share in eternal redemption. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Nahum. See, upon the mountains, there advances the river of goodness, announcing peace. Celebrate your feasts, O Judah. Fulfill your vows. For nevermore shall you be invaded by this scoundrel. He is completely destroyed. The Lord will restore the vine of Jacob, the pride of Israel. The rioters have brought them and ruined the enemies. Woe to the bloody city, all lies full of plunder, whose beauty never stops. The crop of the wheat, the rumbling sounds of wheels, horses available, chariots bounding, cavalry charging, the flame of the sword, the flash of the spear, the men slain, the heaping corpses, the endless bodies to stumble upon. I will cast help upon you, disgrace you, and put you to shame, till everyone who sees you runs from you, saying, Nineveh is destroyed. Who can pity her? Where can one find any to console her? The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. It is I who build death and give life. It is I who build death and give life. Close at hand is the day of their disaster, and their doom is rushing upon them. Surely the Lord shall do justice for his people. On his servants he shall help pity. It is I who will them and give them. Learn then that I, I alone am God, and there is no God besides me. It is I who bring both death and life, I who inflict wounds and heal them. It is I who will them and give them. I will sharpen my flashing sword, and my With vengeance I will repay my foes, and repay those who hate me. It is I who will that and give life. For whoever wishes to save his life will lose it, 
but whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. What profit would there be for one to gain the whole world and forfeit his life? Or what can one give in exchange for his life? For the Son of Man will come with his angels in his Father's glory. And then he will repay each according to his conduct. Amen, I say to you, there are some standing here who will not face death until they see the Son of Man coming in his kingdom. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, as we celebrate today the voted mass of the most sacred heart of Jesus, the Gospel invites us to examine our life. If we are for the world or for God, if we are for the world, then we look into ourselves with selfishness. But if we are for God, then we are for others. And that means we become selfless. In the Gospel, Jesus tells us, Whoever wishes to come after me must deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. The cross is a prerequisite to discipleship. In order for us to be true disciples, we have to learn to live with suffering. We have to learn to live with the cross. Because the cross is our way to salvation. God does not promise us comfort in this world, but rather God promises us life in abundance in the next life. So, ang ating kaligayahan, ang tunay na buhay na dapat nating harapin ay yung buhay walang hanggang or what we call as eternal life. As Jesus puts it to the gospel, what profit would there be for one to gain the whole world and forfeit his life? Or what can one give in exchange for his life? In other words, Christian life is a life of service. Christian life is a life of giving ourselves to others. And this is a consequence of what we call true love for God. If we truly love God, then we have to learn to serve God in our brothers and sisters. So there is no room for selfishness in Christianity. Christianity teaches us to be givers. Christianity teaches us to serve one another. The Gospel today beautifully puts it that those who give their life for the kingdom of God will receive a reward in the next life. And those who do not give their life in the service of God and neighbor will also receive punishment at the end of time. Jesus reminded his disciples, For the Son of Man will come with his angels in his Father's glory, and then he will repay each according to his conduct. So, our life should not be stagnant. Rather, our life should be active with our service for our brothers and sisters. Because God will reward us according to our conduct. So we have to learn, my dear brothers and sisters, to give ourselves in the service of God and neighbor. And this is what we call our good works. God will not look on how we have prayed in the sense that we, He will not look on how religious we were when it comes 
comes to fulfilling our religious obligation and traditions, but rather God will work, not only looking on the dimension of faith, but rather He will also look on how we have exercised hope and charity. So above all, charity. And this is what Christianity is all about. To love God and to love our neighbor. And to love God and our neighbor is manifested in the way we serve one another. So let us be reminded that in this life we will not see the reward that God promised. But the reward will be manifested in the next life. And we will be judged according to our conduct. We will be judged according to how much we have loved God and our neighbor. By self-denial, we take up the cross each day, walking in the footsteps of our Master. Let us pray for others and so cast off the selfishness which keeps us apart from God. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice and the hands for the grace and glory of His King, for our good and the good of all His Holy Church. O God, Father of mercies, who because of the great love with which you loved us with untold goodness, give us your only begotten Son. Grant, we pray, that being perfectly united with Him, we may offer you worthy homage. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and every word to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For raised up high on the cross, He gave Himself up for us with a wonderful love, and poured out blood and water from His tears side, the wellspring of the Church's sacraments, so that one over to the open heart of the Savior, all might draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation. And so, with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. the blood of the new and eternal covenant, 
which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess the resurrection until you come to it. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis our Pope, and Ricardo our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed Apostles and all the saints who have issued throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and Of the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say.
Praise us, we grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I live you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and in your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. the body of Christ. Amen. Let us now pray the act of his spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. As though you have already come, I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Soul of Christ, sanctify me. Body of Christ, save me. Blood of Christ, inebriate me. Water from the side of Christ, wash me. Passion of Christ, strengthen me. O Jesus, hear me. Within your bones, hide me. Permit me not to be separated from you. From the wicked foe, defend me. At the hour of my death, call me and bid me come to you, that with your saints I may praise you forever and ever. Amen.
let us pray. Make partakers in your sacrament of charity. We humbly implore your mercy, Lord, that we may be conformed to Christ on earth and married to the co heirs of his glory in heaven, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please kneel for the oratio of Veronica. God our Father, we come to you in our need to ask for protection against the COVID 19 virus that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stand its transmission. Protect the medical experts that they may minister to the sick with confidence and compassion. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in this trying time to work for the good of all and to help those in need. We implore you to stop the spread of this virus and to save us from our fears. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Our Lady of God, Ralph of the Sick, pray for us. San Rafael Arcaangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Luis, pray for us. San Pedro Galuxo, pray for us. Santo Domingo de Guzman, pray for us. The Lord be with you and in your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth in peace. Thanks be to God.
for past benefits and in the hope of receiving new blessings which you know I need in life. They, O oh dearest mother, to shower upon us all the blessings which we need most for body and soul, particularly. And this special grace to die in God's love through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Lady of God, pray for us in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit.